Hello everybody. I thought today I would take a little time and talk to you about propane tanks and how you can tell the difference in what size tank you have. There is so much confusion between a 100 pound propane tank and a 100 gallon propane tank. Huge, huge amount of confusion and rightfully so. Um, I don't know who invented this this um, whole process of propane tanks and names for them and et cetera, et cetera. It gets more confusing from there, but you know what? If I did it, if I did it, I think I would have done it a little differently, but it's okay. So what we're looking at right here, these are 100 pound propane cylinders 100 pound okay they hold 23.6 gallons of propane when they are filled to an 80 percent capacity all propane tanks are filled to 80 percent of their water capacity because the propane it needs room um, inside the tank to fluctuate around um we won't get too involved on that. Um, this 100 pound cylinder has a collar on it, which just protects um, the gauge, or not the gauge, I'm sorry, the shut off valve, the fill up valve, um, just it protects all the stuff. Okay, now the tops of these uh, come in different manners. These are specifically designed that they can be connected to um, a setup and also filled from a propane t uh, truck without being disconnected, okay? Now they make these that must be disconnected to be filled as well, more of a variety you would transport around um, for temporary heat or, you know, just whatever. I, there's tons and tons of uses, but okay, these little tanks like this, the 100 pound cylinders, are typically used for maybe um, two of these generally for a cook stove with standing pilots. Um, one of these possibly if you have just a cook stove without a standing pilot. These typically do not have gauges. So um, it's for something that you would have a very low usage with. Okay. So 100 pound cylinders. I like to describe these that they resemble a tall skinny helium tank okay that in my mind is the closest thing a helium tank is generally a little taller than this but same general idea people will also say can you wrap your arms around it uh, yes you could wrap your arms around this um it would might be a little uncomfortable a little bit of a of a stretch but you could wrap your arms around it. I prefer the comparison to a helium tank though, okay? So 23.6 gallons of propane in those, 100 pound. Over here, these are 100 gallon propane tanks. Okay, they hold 100 gallons when they are filled to 80% of their water capacity. These tanks actually hold 120 gallons of water, but at 80% of 120 is 100 gallons. Okay, so that's why we call these 100 gallon propane tanks. Their proper term is a 420 pound cylinder. Okay, so these little ones over here are a 100 pound cylinder. They hold 23.6 gallons of propane. These over here are a 420 pound cylinder. They hold 100 gallons of propane. Okay. Now, these, in my mind, what I always used when I worked in the industry to explain what this was, because people are mixing it up back and forth. 100 pound, 100 gallon, they think they have this, they think they have that. Nobody understands it until they become familiar with it, okay? I used to say 
It looks like a big fat snowman. Okay, it really does. It's a big fat snowman. Um, these tanks, you see they have lids. Sometimes the lids aren't there, okay? They're old, they blow away, they just don't have them. Uh, but these do have lids. You can see the style is slightly different. That lid used to be blue. That lid is white, doesn't really matter. You can see they've got some dirt on them or old moss, doesn't really matter. Um, but big fat snowman. People in the industry like to say, you couldn't wrap your arms around it. Truth be told, you couldn't wrap your arms around it, but you really can't easily wrap your arms around the 100 pound cylinders either. And that is why I prefer to say big fat snowman, okay? Now, if you're still not happy with the explanation, all propane tanks, well, should have um, a little plate in here, or they might have information stamped on them. But um, if you search around a little bit, You'll see, approximately, approximate gallons, 120. That's water gallons, not propane gallons. Okay, so this is a 420 or a 100 gallon propane tank. Uh, note, note to self, when you open the lid on your propane tanks, be careful. Birds love to make nests in here. You can see there's some beginnings of a nest. Um, also wasps, bees, hornets, they like it in there too. <laughs> so be aware when you open that up. Um, and that is how you tell the difference between a 100 gallon tank and a 100 pound tank, okay? Now, because people get so confused about what size tank they have, um, the amount to fill it and the amount it holds confuses them too. Okay, and they and people become angry. Okay, because when you tell them how much it costs to fill a 100 gallon tank, which holds 100 gallons of propane, they think you're talking about one of these 100 pound tanks, which only holds 23.6 gallons of propane. And that's when the alarms go off. They say, I can fill up, get one of those filled up for this amount of money. And you're saying that it costs this much more to fill up this. And just because people don't know what they have and people don't understand, it causes all sorts of problems. These larger tanks, they typically have a gauge, whereas those smaller tanks do not. So the 100 gallon tanks, you'll see these used for a log set. Uh, maybe a water heater, uh, probably at least two of these for a furnace. Um, some, some houses require more than that. You need some capacity, you know. You can't go setting two of these 100 pound cylinders for um, your furnace. You only would have a little less than 50 gallons of, of propane, whereas here you would have 200 gallons of propane. So big difference but i'm going to do another video about tank gauges and knowing how much propane you have so check out that if you want to learn more about propane and how to understand it